What's up everyone? I'm coming to you off the hills of having seen a brand new image released from the Gillig plant at Livermore, California. This is kind of an old photo, but to us it's a new photo because it's our first time seeing it. This is the 2021 Gillig BRT Plus CNG made specifically for Nice Bus, number 2000. I'm going to do an assessment on it. So, we see 8 right side windows and we see 9 left side windows, which is pretty awesome. We have Alcoa rims, which is amazing. Uh, we have decent front doors, they're, they're typical. I like the poles on the front doors, that's very nice. However, the back doors are really, really tiny. So unless you're like super skinny like me, it, it might be a, a challenge to get through them. They're, those doors are kind of like the cab of an R44 from Staten Island. An intense downgrade when compared to the wide sliding doors of the LFS HEV back in Manhattan. The screens for the signage look super nice, no pun intended, and I do hope that they scroll like the third gens do. Unlike the 2021 X and 40s, the license plate is placed on the side, which was a good decision, because the 2021 X and 40 license plates, many of them were placed in the middle. The number font is soft, and its number, 2000, signifies the crossover into a new era for Nassau County. The headlights are in a triangular position, red burst, unlike the cat eyes of the Excelsior. Or, if you watch Zach Trans's video, the headlights are kind of like Bosch's eyes. The portion of the bus underneath the windshield is fully white, unlike the Excelsiors and Orions, which here are a combo of orange and white. The glass is so clean, look at it, look at it! Though the first image showed a far away, somewhat dirty Gillig, this one shows a professional, clean, and up close and personal representation. The TransDev logo is now on the left side only, not the right side. The overall vibe is that of the XM40s, and I appreciate that. XM40s and Gillig's will be like R160s and R170. Now wait, wrong comparison. Forget I said anything. They'll kind of be like D60s and Orion 5s. They'll be very similar, but still different in their own rights. I love that A-pillar portion in the front. Its angling is super cool. Heck, I like that A-pillar even more than the ones on the Nova buses. The front is smooth and curved, and the black trim underneath the window feels like a knockoff of the Nova HEV. The window has the curve of a Nova and the look of an Excelsior. I like how the sign is separate from the window too, that's really cool. I'm glad they went with the BRT Plus, and I hope they have the Twin Vision signs and 4-1 Gemini seats like the 2021 X and 40s. I also hope more arrive quickly and that they enter service very soon. Currently, the retired next-gen CNGs are 1700, 02, 03, 06, 07, 17, 27, 37, 38, 43, 46, 47, 49, 50, 60, 74, 80, and 1796. So that's 18 next-gens retired so far. But now that the Gilligs are arriving, expect to see a lot more 1700s drop out like flops. They are currently at Cedar Creek Scrap. Alright, that will wrap up this video. I just wanted to get my thoughts off about 2000. If you want, check out Zach Trenz's video as well, since he also talks about this Gillig. With that said, thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, stay blessed, and stay healthy as well.